Alex invested $8,000 for 10 years at 5% annual compound interest. How much did he earn at the end of the 10 years? So here we have the concept of compound interest and this compound interest is a very interesting thing because this is what makes us rich. What is compound interest? So let's first see the options. Options are 13,040, 11,200, 5,040, 12,060. Focus that we are asking how much did he earn? So if you want to solve it, pause the video and let me know your answer in the comment section. So if you don't know what is compound interest, don't worry, we will try to understand here. So consider that you have $1000 in your bank and the bank pays you 1% interest on it. So this is called simple interest. So you get 1% interest on it. That means at the end of one year, you will get $1000, the principal amount plus the interest of 1% of 1000 will be 10. So it is $1010. So this is your total amount at the end of the first year. When it is compound interest on the next year, your principal is not now $1000 but $1,010 and you will earn interest of 1% on this $1,010. So at the end of next year, you will earn the interest on $1,010. Then again at the end of second year, that 1% interest will be added here and that will become your principal amount. So each year your principal amount keeps on increasing and your interest gets added to your principal amount. So that is called compound interest. So this is a very simple concept. It's just simple interest that gets added to our principal amount. Now we can derive the formula to calculate the total amount that we will earn at the end of the year. We can derive the formula using the formula of simple interest. But if you remember this formula, this is amount, the principal plus interest. So this amount you earn when there is compound interest. This is the principal P1 plus R is the interest rate and we write in decimal form. N is the number of times interest is compounded per year. If interest is compounded annually, N is 1. If interest is compounded quarterly, it is 3. If, it, if interest is compounded twice per year, then n is equal to 2 and so on and then exponent t. So, so if your interest is 1%, principal amount is $1000 and it is compounded annually and let's say you have invested it for 10 years. How we will calculate the amount that you will get at the end of 10 years? So amount will be principal that is 1000 then parenthesis, then 1 plus R, here is the rate of interest, 1%, 1% means 1 upon 100, that is equal to 0 decimal 01. So we write 0 decimal 01, it is compounded annually, so it is upon 1, so we don't need to write upon 1. Then raised to the power of 10 years, the time it takes. Now we can calculate the amount that you will receive after 10 years if you have invested on compound interest rates so 1000 and remember that we have to follow here PEMDAS in PEMDAS we first solve parenthesis then exponent then multiplication division addition subtraction so first we will solve parenthesis 1 plus 0 decimal 0 1 is 1 1.01 then to the power 10 so after parenthesis we need to solve exponent Check in with the calculator how much it is. So it is equal to 1000 times 1 decimal 104 multiply it to 1000 it will be 1104 dollars. So this much you will receive at the end of 10 years if 1% is the interest rate. So this is how we calculate compound interest. Now here 
Alex has invested eight thousand dollars. So this is the principal amount. Rate of interest is five percent annually. So it will be five upon hundred. So zero decimal zero five. Time is ten years. So amount at the end of ten years will be. We will apply the formula. A is equal to P one plus R number of time. It's it. It is compounded. And then number of years since n is here one because it is compounded annually, so it will be one plus r. So now p here is eight thousand. Then times one plus r is zero decimal zero five. Then times is ten. So eight thousand. Again follow PEMDAS. So it will be one decimal zero five to the power ten. Now before we multiply, we have to solve this exponent. Use the calculator. One decimal zero five to the power ten is equal to one decimal six two eight eight. So we can take its one decimal six three. So it will be eight thousand times one decimal six three. Now multiply, so we get thirteen thousand forty. So this is the amount that Alex will get after the end of ten years, thirteen thousand forty dollars. But this is the total amount. This amount also includes the principal that Alex invested. So how much he earned? So earnings or profit will be his principal amount deducted from this amount. So amount minus principal, so thirteen thousand forty minus eight thousand dollars. That is equal to five thousand forty dollars. So this much he will earn at the end of ten years. Therefore, our answer will be C. So you might take A as your answer if you have solved it and you are in hurry. You might get the wrong answer because it is not asking how much did he get at the end of ten years. If it was asked, then the answer was A. It is asking how much did he earn. So this amount also includes the eight thousand dollar that he invested. So earnings or profit is five thousand forty dollars. This is the interest that he earned. So how much did he earn? It means it's asking how much interest did he earn in total. So it is five thousand forty dollars. I hope you understood compound interest. Like and subscribe. Thanks for watching.